Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. Just want to comment on a little bit of breaking news or whatever today. Um, first, apparently seen by Yakface, right? And uh, he posted it on... <laughs> I don't know how it all works, this, because it's obviously common knowledge because it's on StarWars.com. So I guess he was the first to snipe it and put it on social media. But anyway, so whatever. Regardless, it's out there now. Uh, it's interesting how it all sort of rolls out, isn't it? Who is the first to see it? Who was the first to post about it? I'm just waffling now. Anyway, so what it is, is you've got Ahsoka and then the Death Watch Mandalorian there. And they, I'm going to talk about them individually, but the one that I really like the look of, surprisingly, is the Death Watch guy. He, he's awesome. That figure looks great. Um, I'm a helmet collector. So when they were, <laughs> it's funny that when they announced the Death Watch helmet, which was just a repaint of the Boba Fett one, I just thought, nah, an easy pass. But this is obviously a unique figure in a way. Um, Obviously, they'll recycle some of the sculpt or whatever for Boba Fett, the Mandalorian helmet, but it's a great looking figure. And I can't work out if this is the guy that saves Din Djarin uh, or, you know, one of the guys in the shootout on Navarro. Regardless, anyway, if you know that, let me know. But it's a great looking figure out of the two. Um, that brings me to Ahsoka. Obviously, Ahsoka I'm chuffed with, but <laughs> the thing about Ahsoka is it's a little bit of an OD on Ahsoka at the minute. You've got the... Um, previous release which i still haven't opened yet the um the one that's the ahsoka season seven i'd say which is a great looking figure which you could do endless things with that you could customize that and make it a mandalorian season two one if you wanted because as we've all noticed and remarked it's got that rosario dawson face to it but um the reason i say it's overdose is because well we saw in the um retro collection figures that they have announced recently which are i pre-ordered them i just checked my account <laughs> to check i had pre-ordered them but yes i had in that wave you saw some some of the future should we say uh, i never really commented on that retro wave and what i thought about it but i'll leave it for now because i'll just keep it specific to what we've seen today but you did get a glimpse of the future in that you saw uh, a really lovely card back actually which is the mandal uh, the beg your pardon boba fett repaint boba fett if you want to call it that um when he's painted his armor. So obviously in that wave, you saw the Ahsoka card back as well, and you knew further, that, further down the line that we would get the modern figure. Obviously, that's the retro figure in that previous wave, and that's one of the issues I had with it. Again, not to go into too many details, but when they announced that retro wave, I just thought, oh, you know, I wished we just had modern, really. I do like retro, you know, to an extent, but I think it's a little bit too much. I think retro should be reserved for what was retro or... or that style originally like you know the original Kenner figures and maybe they could do occasional figures like oh you know they've done one wave of Mando I really didn't expect they'd do two waves of Mando you know for me that's overkill but still regardless you're going to get a retro one and now this modern Ahsoka figure which is great you know the car back is good <sighs> but however ah as I noticed when I was on Instagram earlier, where's the cloak? Do, do we get a cloak with it? I think it really does need that robe that she had. Or in the case of myself and others in the UK, we got tons of <laughs> the Ray Island journey for £3.75. I've still got a few that I could maybe open to get the robe out of that, but you'd hope that they would give you the poncho that you saw in the film. But in this image here, obviously, you don't get a poncho, which is a little bit odd. But again, you know, a lot of us aren't without a spare one from Ray. But um, there you are. And the other bit of Ahsoka overkill or whatever, well, it feels a little bit saturated with Ahsoka at the minute, is the fact that they're bringing back VC-102, which, in all honesty, is definitely for the carded collectors out there. That's a hard figure to get hold of. Even Tim from Bosk's Bounty never snagged it. I think he never got hold of it. But still, um, <laughs> if you want to spend £500, you can get it or more. God, God damn it. She's expensive. So that really isn't one to open. In my humble opinion, these others would be. You know, especially that season seven one, that would be a good one to open to have loose. But that one's not good, but it's good for the carded collector. If you really want that first version of the Clone Wars style card, get her. But um, again, overall, there's been a lot of Ahsoka recently, but there you go. I just thought I'd just fill you in with the news on these two figures that were sort of like came to life today. Uh, let me know your thoughts on them in the comments. If you are new around here, do subscribe. Check out the playlists for other videos and blah de blah And that's all I can say really about that. Thank you very much for listening. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.